Right, so we're going to put um, a 2 PMS system on the bike, tire pressure monitor system. Uh, now the Street R actually comes with a, um, a tire pressure monitoring system as an option. Uh, I don't actually have it on this bike and I think it's quite expensive to put on. So I've gone the old Chinese route and fitting some little Bluetooth pressure cap sensors, uh, which are really easy to fit and we'll just show you how to do them now. So what do we get in the box? We get two little Bluetooth um, pressure monitor sensors, some instructions which are not worth using, but it does tell you which app to download, and it is the SYTPMS app. So we'll set that up next. We just screw off the old dust cap. You have to screw on the new pressure sensor. Alright, I've got Bluetooth turned on and on the app I just press pair. Oh, I did pair successfully, that was quick. Uh, so I just need to do the settings to make sure where the it's not an alarm basically. So what we got there. Two and a half bar, so I'll put that in to uh, PSI, and what we've got is um, warnings, maximum temperature, maximum tire pressure, minimum tire pressure for the car. Low battery warning, which is good, put that on. Temperature unit, tire pressure unit, we'll put in PSI because that's what I'm used to. Um, so, maximum tire pressure, we'll just Put that up. Uh, we'll go and check the actual settings, and we'll set that accordingly. Tire pressure. Quite a different size, isn't it? We'll stick the minimum tire pressure to, let's say, thirty. Maximum tire pressure. If it's forty-two, we'll be doing we'll go much more than that. But it will obviously um, warm up. Try 46. So we've got temperature, uh, sorry, we've got pressures of 27 to 48. And that'll give us a warning if it does um, drop out of those measurements. Just do the same for the front now. Nice and simple. Same for the front. Take the dust cap off. And turn the front one on. Nice, right, so that's got a bit of pressure behind it. Let's get the app back out. Uh, we've paired the back one, and now we're going to pair the front one. Simply press pair. That was quick. Wonderful. So we've got 34 on the front. That should be 34. I checked them before. Back's only got 37 in it, it should be 42. So I'm gonna have to stick a little bit more in that back. But that's it. Two minute job. Now we've got a tire pressure monitoring system. Also tells you the temperature and also tells you the battery voltage. So when these batteries are dropping down in voltage, gives you a bit of warning. Shame we can't change the picture of the bike though. Right, so I've just put some pressure in on my accurate gauge. So these are actually really accurate. 34, 41.9. That's pretty good. Um, and for example, if I just show you the alarm, if one of them comes off, you get an alarm on the phone, if the app's running, obviously. Noise and vibration. Let's get that back on. Then we're good to go. All right, that's it. Uh, if you found it useful, give us a thumbs up. They're only ten pound off Amazon. These things, they're dirt cheap, really, and it's an easy way of uh, keeping on your tire pressures rather than getting the gauge out all the time. Just open the app up on your phone, check it before a journey, and away you go. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. See more mods getting on the uh, street triple. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The next video. Thanks for watching.